Ask Reddit by Honest Captain 8169. What is an American thing but Americans think everyone outside of America does it? Coming into work sick. It took me a good year or two living outside the US to stop coming into work when I was sick. I thought my German co-workers going home after lunch because they didn't feel well was just slacking off. I really should have figured it out sooner, but the shame Americans have been conditioned to feel for missing work is buried deep in our pish. Veterans Discount When I worked in retail I would occasionally have to explain that being a past or active member of the American military doesn't qualify you for a discount in Australia. It was usually family of the veteran who would be asking, sometimes demanding, the price reduction. American veterans are demanding discounts in Australia? I am so embarrassed. Naming mere suspects of crimes with their complete names and a picture in the news. Yeah and then people feel comfortable mentioning their names in podcasts and shit even after they have been cleared. Sorry, can't you just refer to them as ex-boyfriend A or something? I find it incredibly unethical for the police to release that information to the public. In Poland even once you are convicted they only release your first name and first letter of your surname. In some circumstances they will give the full name but that's rare. They don't even release pictures of people before they get convinced, unless it's needed and that's incredibly rare. You know why? Because everyone is innocent until proven otherwise and pictures getting out can lead to stigmatization. Edit, spelling errors. African Americans. I remember seeing a news report in 2017 about the riots in Paris and a CNN anchor commenting about all the African American people involved. You might be surprised to hear that African Americans really aren't a thing outside of America. I've had it expressed to me that black people prefer to be called black people. Many say they are no more African American than white people are European American, but we don't use that term with white people. It's also coming to light that Latinx is a paternalized term, and the actual population prefers Latino much more. Trying to come up with different words to describe a population reminds me of that scene in The Office when Michael asks Oscar, what's a better word than Mexican? Having the way to take your credit card at a restaurant. Most other countries bring the machine to you so you can pay at the table and at least reduce the risk of having your credit card information stolen. I am Dutch and currently in the US. Today a waiter came up to me and said sir your credit card needs a pin code. Are you comfortable giving your pin code or do you wanna walk with me and type it in um wtf do you think? You think I'm gonna hand you my pin code? Law. The gas pump only turning on after you've paid. I was in the UK and filling up my rental at a somewhat rural station and was flabbergasted that I was supposed to pay after. I asked the guy if people ever leave without paying and he just shrugged and said sometimes, but not often enough that it's a problem. If you're sufficiently rural in the US you might still find that too, but it's essentially extinct in cities and suburbs. I thought PBJ sandwiches was a worldwide phenomenon as a kid. Watching the latest episode of the Great British Baking Show and Prue called the combination of peanut butter and some sort of fruit, strawberries or raspberries, unusual and she would never think of some like that. Drinking root beer. My Brazilian friend told me they do not drink that, as it is the flavor of their toothpaste. I think I've heard some people from outside the US describe it as tasting like medicine, too. I'm not 100% sure if that was root beer, Dr. Pepper, or both. The over-the-top customer service attitude. On a trip abroad my wife thought that she upset the waiter somehow because he was generally neutral in his interaction. It was generally neutral because it was a generally neutral interaction. No need for that customer service attitude. Tip culture probably has something to do with it. Drinking out of red solo cups in college. A friend of mine studied abroad in London and said her new friends asked if we actually use them or if they were only in the movies. I literally saw red plastic cups in Poundland the other day that were labeled American cups. 
Get it. Guys, I get it. Poundland is a funny name. But it's literally just the dollar store, in British pounds instead of American dollars. Hospitals connected to specific insurances, and you having to make sure you go to the right one. How do you even do that after a car crash? An insurance company's deciding what treatment a patient gets. Having garbage disposal unit installed under kitchen sink. My wife and I are hosting an exchange student from Germany, she was very confused the first time I turned on the disposal. Born and raised in the US, Massachusetts. When I went to Australia, I automatically assumed that the waiter would bring the bill over when they think we're done eating and just tell us to pay whenever we're ready. I sat at the table for a good 15 minutes just browsing my phone with no food or drink on the table until I decided to call a waiter over. They told me when I'm ready, I can pay at the front counter. Went to Brazil to visit my wife's family and we ordered some street food. I tried to pay upon order and my wife told me they'd take payment after we finish eating even if it's street food. After eating, we totally forgot that we haven't paid yet and just got up and walked away because we're so used to paying upon order. About 50 meters of walking, I was like, wait, we didn't pay for the food. We rushed back to pay and the cooks had a good laugh about it. As an Australian trying to figure out whether a cafe is table service, order at counter or pay at counter can be tricky. Some places will bring your food out but others will call your name. The sheer amount of ad breaks when watching a TV show. In the US, there seems to be one every 10 minutes, but here in the UK, you get a break halfway through a show and then in between shows and that's it. This varies wildly by country, and the US isn't even close to the worst. In India they have an ad break every 5 minutes or so. That would be bad enough but they, I shit you not, play the same set of ads every single break 4 hours on end. It's entirely common to actually repeat an ad twice in the same break, with a different one in between, if you're lucky. Then you get 5 minutes of show before watching literally the same ad again, twice. It's completely insane and feels more like brainwashing or torture than advertisement. No joke I knew a girl who really thought every country lit fireworks on the 4th of July. I had an American girl ask me what I was doing for Thanksgiving and had to tell her we don't have that where I live lol. Have great flavored foods. I'm sure it exists elsewhere, but I've never seen it here in the UK. We have black currant flavor instead which is the purple version in sweets and drinks. Black currants were outlawed in the US for many years. The black currant plant acts as a reservoir for a disease that attacks white pine. This is probably another way of saying the US grows a ridiculous amount of white pine compared to other countries. I'm an Australian. Except when posting in a local sub, I assume that most Redditors are Americans. I'm Portuguese and same. Driving for long periods of time just to go to work or store I always hear people complaining about a trip taking like 15 minutes to me, that's a really short time. Yeah weird, I drive 20 minutes to work and I consider it close. My co-worker drives an hour and a half and considers $25 an hour to be worth it. UK here, the price you see in a shop is the price you actually pay. In the US there are two states with no sales tax. I live in one of them and I constantly forget about it and am surprised at checkout when I visit other states. Deleted. I'm mixed race, half English and half Jamaican. We got talking to a group of American girls in Amsterdam and one of them referred to me as a British African American lol. Peanut butter and jelly. I couldn't believe it wasn't a worldwide thing. As a UK person I've adopted it as it's delicious though I was extremely confused by it as kid as this is what we call jelly in the UK. UK equals 850 and amp. R equals 16. 9 and amp. Fit equals crop and amp. Crop equals top. Having public bathroom stall doors that do not go all the way to the floor. When I came to us from Canada to see a friend, 
After dinner when we were splitting the bill they asked if I could just Venmo it over. And then I told them we don't have Venmo. And then I saw the shocked Pikachu meme face around me. So I'm gonna say Venmo. English person here. Free bank transfers are just part of my bank's app on my phone. The idea that I'd have to use a third party app to do what I want with my own money seems insane. Growing up I thought baseball was as widely played as football, soccer, worldwide. Crazy how the World Series only consists of us teams and the Blue Jays. MMDDIII. This one sucks in Canada because both ways are very common and there is rarely an indication which way was used on whatever you're looking at so you have to guess. Pharmaceutical commercials. Seems like half of commercials in the US are some drug ad stating, ask your doctor if, drug X, is right for you. Ad will employment. Over here if I want to leave a job, I gotta give one or two months notice. If my employer wants to get rid of me, he's better have some real good arguments, and still needs to pay a separation fee. Immense portions in restaurants and then taking a slightly less immense, but still big, box full of leftovers home. Calling the main course an entree, when entree means starter appetizer. Thank god. It was driving Emmy insane that an entree was the main course, it went against everything I knew. Holy shit. The First Amendment. I just howled with laughter when some Canadian convoy protester claimed he had First Amendment rights, when the First Amendment in the Canadian Constitution actually provided for the government of Manitoba. Till. Edit, what the Canadian First Amendment is. Tipping. Ex-bartender in the UK. I only ever got tips if I showed some cleavage. <laughs>